I think a lot of times we take for granted that, you know, we do installs here all the time and the details uh, that might be worth sharing. So here, for instance, I just finished the, on a 150 engine, customer asked if we could install or pre-install the wires for the sensors that go on this engine. Now there are, <clears throat> or there is information on our website and YouTube about how to do the sensors on the other engines, but we really haven't done the 150. So let's take a peek at where the sensors are located and where the cables get routed. Here is the oil pressure sensor. Now the thread on this engine is slightly different. Uh, the pipe thread, NPT thread, is just not quite deep enough for most sensors. So if your engine hasn't been tapped for that, remove the old sensor and tap it just slightly deeper and vacuum out of it. You don't want any metal in the oil. Usually that's all done here and there's a plug there and all you gotta do is put the sensor in. And then use some clips to attach the cabling. We also sometimes put a little hole here and there uh, to tie it. And then a little clip here and a little clip there. And then it's gonna run in underneath the plastic cover on this engine which is kind of handy and then it gets routed out the back with the rest of them so that takes care of the oil pressure one what else we got up here is an outlet for coolant but that goes to the ECU or the computer that operates the engine so that one you don't want to touch that blends in with the rest of the cabling that operates and runs the engine such as this uh, air temperature and so forth. But for your instrumentation, you're gonna need a couple of more things. One is your gearbox temperature probe, which is located right here on top of this engine. And you're gonna be running that set of wire or that cable through the same place. And then one more, which is your coolant temperature probe, which is right down here, same thing. Bundle that all together and run it through the cover. And that's all there is for the entire engine as far as what you're gonna read. And uh, cabling comes out here. And then you just, we have it just bundled here for the customer, but you would just run it together with your ECU wires into the cockpit and hook it up to your instrumentation. Hope that helps for those that are installing the 150 engine.